Hello, welcome to the Villages Florida. My name is David. I'm a realtor with Florida Realty Investments, and I can be reached at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. This is our weekly look at the real estate market here in the Villages. We focus on value. Uh, two things I would like to alert you to. First, make sure you check the date on today's show. We produce one every Monday. Make sure you're getting the most recent information. Secondly, all of this information is drawn from the MLS. The Multiple Listing Service does not include any properties on the Village's own internal listing service, the VLS. If you're interested in finding a home at a good price here in the Villages, or you're trying to maximize your return from selling your home, please reach out to me, David is in Florida at gmail.com. So let's get started. As usual, we start by taking a look at total listings, which have increased this week to 339, ranging in price from just under 168,000 to $2.1 million. Looking at this graph, it looks as if the trend towards ever more listings uh, remains intact. Here we take a look at the median listing price per square foot. This is for all listings. This week it's $265.25. Not the lowest that we've seen, but certainly we are remaining at the lower end of the range on price per square foot here. If we take a closer look at all listings, we can see into what price segments they fall. If we look at the most active price segment, the three dollars to $500,000 range, this week there are 207 homes for sale. Last week, there were 204. The week prior to that, 192. The week prior to that, 193. And the week prior to that, 181. Here we take a look at how long properties are staying on the market. This is the median time on the market for all listings, currently 42 days. We have uh, dropped down from the 50 plus days that we saw earlier in the year, but we're certainly well elevated from the uh, sub 20 days that we saw almost a year ago. Here we take a look at new listings and pending home sales to get some idea as to how many properties are entering and leaving the market every week. This week there are 35 new listings and 27 homes went pending. Looking at the graph, the new listings are the blue bars and the pending home sales are the orange bars. Here's a little more detail on the new listings, which as I said, number 35. They range in price from just under 225,000 to just under 1.2 million. In the most active price segment, the three to $500,000 range this week, there are 18 homes. Last week, 17. The week prior to that, 19. The week prior to that, 28. And the week prior to that, 26. It's noteworthy when we look at this to see in the last five weeks how few homes there have been entering the market uh, over $800,000. Another look at the pending home sales. This is the price per square foot that they were last listed at, $255.03 a foot. Doesn't seem to be much change in the pending per square foot numbers uh, over the last six months or so. Similarly, if we look at the median time on the market for these pending home sales, 38 days the number. Uh, we remain elevated, but certainly well below the almost 70 days that was the median time on the market at the beginning of the year. Here's another look at the pending home sales. This is the price change from the original listing price for these pending sales. A decrease of 6.25% from the original listing price is the median price change for homes that went pending in the last seven days. Now we turn our attention to the homes that sold over the last seven days, sold and closed that is. There were 30, ranging in price from 137,000 to 660,000. Uh, the number of sales does seem to be ticking higher from uh, almost half this number at the beginning of the year. Here's a more in-depth look at the properties that closed over the last seven days. Uh, in the three to $500,000 range, the most popular price segment, 16 homes closed. Previous seven days saw nine. Seven days prior to that, 18. The seven days prior to that, 12. And the seven days prior to that, 15 homes. Another look at the homes that closed over the last seven days. This is the price per square foot, $236 a foot. It does seem as if the price realized per square foot on properties that sold is continuing to decline. If we take a look at how long those homes were on the market before they went pending before selling, the median time on the market was 38 days. Uh, this does remain, this measure does remain elevated. It is taking longer to sell homes here. Here's a brief look at how enthusiastic buyers are. If we look at total sales over the last seven days of 30, six of them went 
six of them were taken off the market within seven days, which is 20%. Previous week was 31% of homes. Of the homes that went pending, which number 27, four were on the market for less than seven days, 15%, it was 20% the week prior. Total number of listings, 339, 70 of them have been on the market for more than 100 days, which is 21% of all listings. 21% of all listings were on the market for more than 100 days last week as well. And the last two things we look at are what percentage of homes have decreased their asking price from the original asking price. Currently, 52.21% of all homes listed have reduced their asking price. Looking at this graph, you can see that this year, the percentage of homes that have been forced to decrease their asking price has continued to increase. The question then becomes, what is the percentage of decrease? Currently, of all homes listed, the median change from the original listing price is a decrease of 4.18%. Uh, this, this measure is ticking higher again. So that concludes this week's look at the Villages real estate market. If you're interested in buying a home here or selling a home here, or you just have general questions about what life in the villages is like, please reach out to me at davidisinflorida at gmail.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Hope to hear from you. Take care.